so we are well on our way to Guatemala um, for a 36 hour trip. So we're here at the Costa Rica International Airport in San Jose. Jazz and I moved to Costa Rica about eight months ago mm -hmm. and we are currently here on a tourist visa which we are required to renew every 90 days so what we have to do is leave the country every 90 days and get our passport re-stamped yeah. yeah. so this should be our last border run um, before we get our residency and uh, the cool thing about this border run is Jazz is eight <laughs> months prego. Yeah. So after the baby's born, our um, residency here in Costa Rica will get front loaded and should have a pretty fast turnaround. Yeah, this border run doubles as a baby moon yeah. for us. <laughs> All right. Next time we see it, we'll either be in the air or in Panama. Right. Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we boarded. Jazz, what airline are we on? Avianca. Avianca. And we've never flown this airline. I think it's a uh, Central America, South American airline. Not a fast plane. No. Oh. A little uh, dated, but it's still kind of cool. And they let us board early because of the baby. <laughs> the flight from San Jose, Costa Rica to Guatemala City, Guatemala is about an hour and 15 minutes. I think we paid like $130 maybe uh, per ticket. about is they provide a, a meal so jazz is going to do an unboxing of the meal that they gave us just landed here in Guatemala City. Got off the plane, went through immigration. Let me show you the line for immigration. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. There's two, two windows open and nobody in line. Kind of crazy. Yeah. So we're getting ready to order our Uber. Jazz pulled it up. 1866, whatever the local currency is, it says GTQ, 18.66. So we'll convert that, see what it is in dollars. $2.42 to get to our hotel, which is like two minutes away. Nice. So, oh, and we our cell phones work here, no problem. So we're supposed to meet our Uber here. I don't know what the laws are for Uber in Guatemala, in, in um, Costa Rica, it's illegal, but it still exists. And they do it, but they do it on the down low, and they, they're they sneaky around the taxi drivers. Here's our Uber. Santiago? Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah, all back there? Yeah? Oh, is this okay? Here.
Francis. So check in is not till three o'clock, but we're gonna see if we can get in early. They said we can early check in, uh, but it's $80, or we can wait till noon and we can check in early for free. So it's nine o'clock now, we got three hours to kill. So we could check out the pool on the 16th floor. I believe it's a rooftop pool. What are you doing, my love? I'm looking up things to do in Guatemala. Found some cool stuff, but I don't think there's a lot of stuff we can book for today, fortunately. Not a big deal. We can walk around and find somewhere nice to eat. We're only here for 36 hours. Our main purpose for being here is the border run. Since Jazz is eight months pregnant, we wanted to make it as easy as possible. We got a pretty nice room. Jazz requested that we get a bathtub. We haven't been to our room yet. They're not gonna let us in until noon, so we have three hours. How do you feel about that bathtub? I'm excited. I'm excited about our private pool too. Oh yeah. <laughs> private for now. It's nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so Jazz took a quick nap, about a one hour nap on the uh, rooftop patio. <laughs> and now we're gonna head to get something to eat. Uh, the concierge recommended we go to this little uh, food plaza or food mall about two blocks away. The city here in Guatemala is divided into 22 different zones. We are in zone 10, one of the safest zones for a tourist to be in, where you can walk around and not really have to worry too much about uh getting in trouble um it's a beautiful city yeah it is other fun facts about guatemala city it is uh elevation wise it's just under 5,000 feet which makes it damn near a mile high city mm -hmm. um what else population population of Guatemala is just under a million so that is kind of compared to um, San Jose California the metropolitan area is just over five million which would be comparative to uh, Seattle Washington uh, the greater area what else Guatemala as a country has like somewhere around 40 volcanoes. Three of those volcanoes are active and uh, at least one of those active volcanoes is right outside Guatemala City. So we got these natural drinks which are 
a very common in Costa Rica. I'm sure in all Central and probably South American countries, they're very common. But uh, Jazz, what do you got? I got limonada. All right. Let's see how. Yeah. That's really good. Maracuya? Is Maracuya. Maracuya. So, this is what I got. It's like a passion fruit. <laughs> mm, really good. It has a little bit of a kick to it somehow. Almost like a mimosa, but there's no booze in it. Um, these taste sweeter than what we're used to in Costa Rica. Yeah. I think it varies depending on where you are. Yeah. But for the most part, I do taste sweeter. What'd you get for uh, brunch, Jazz? I think I got like scrambled eggs and toast with some salmon and veggies. You seem a little unsure. Yeah, I think that's what I got. It was in Spanish. <laughs> Spanish French. <laughs> I ordered the crepe because we're in a French restaurant. And yeah. Like a fruit crepe. So is that what you expected? Yes. <laughs> what, uh, yeah. After I translated. Pretty much what I expected too. <laughs> yep. Well. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. Suite. Got a little living room set here. A little bar. Mm -hmm. TV. Little mini fridge in here. Mini fridge. Alright, that's cool. That's a door, huh? Mm -hmm. Sliding door. Here, just yeah, slide that. Pretty cool. Wow, that room totally disappears. Another oh. TV in here. Wow. Bed. Oh, that's a cool closet. Got a little purple accent in there. Safe. Drawers. Shoe polisher. Good. I need to polish my chucks. Robes. Couple of robes. Those look nice. And house shoes. Nice, nice, nice. Iron board, irons. I got some lights on the bed. Oh, that's cool. Well, you guys a couple of masks. Oh, yeah. Let's see what our view looks like. Sure. You see the mountains over there? Okay. It's a big building. That is the bathroom there. I'm guessing. Hidden away. I'm probably take my mask off. There you go, Jazz. Wow. Here's your bathtub. You want it? That's, that's a nice tub right there. Yeah. Separate room for a shower. Cool. Single vanity. Water room. And shower. It's a nice room. Very nice. Was this jazz? Bath salt. Nice. So we were just looking for this when we were walking around the city. And the only thing we found was like 40 bucks. And uh, it seems a little expensive for a single bath. Mm -hmm. On top of the cost of the the room, which pretty much the only reason we got this room was for the bathtub. So, yeah, I think this this place cost us like two hundred and eighty a night, uh, somewhere around there. Um, if it's if 
I'll look at that number and if it's different, I'll post it. But, uh, you know, we're only staying one night. Jazz is seven months pregnant. We had to do this border run. So we figured we'd make it as easy and relaxing as possible. Jazz is eight months pregnant, so. All right, well. I love it. All right, so we just checked out of our hotel. Um, from the last time we talked to you guys, I think we were just checking in, um, getting into our hotel. Since then, we hung out there, had a good time, I got a nice bath in. Um, we got to spend a little bit of time um, we would go to some room service and we went uh, to the pool yeah we went to the pool for like four hours as well that was a lot of fun and um got up this morning we got some breakfast uh we went to the french place that we liked yesterday and it was just as good again today and um i took another bath <laughs> this morning just relaxed a little bit before checkout and now we're waiting for our Uber to go check out a museum. And it should be a lot of fun. It's a um, museum for uh, different art and just understanding more Mayan culture, which is big in Guatemala. So let's see what happens. So we got to the museum you can see it right here behind me but it is closed due to the pandemic so we have like seven and a half hours before our flight leaves and we want to be at the airport like two hours early so this looks like a decent area we'll try to find something around here the museum would have been cool so right next to the museum was the entrance to the mall and we just walked in here uh, it's pretty big Tastes like real fruit, <laughs> like actual fruit. Yeah. I got strawberry. Well, we are at the airport and we're ready to go home, back to Costa Rica. Yeah. Uh, this place is a ghost town. <laughs> Seriously. And we we walked right through security and customs and immigration. No one in line. Right. There's so. probably what three employees. I'm all of it. Yeah, but yeah, we had a good time. Guatemala is cool. Um, we'll be back sometime and hopefully uh, get to explore it a little more and, and get out and sample some more of the culture. Yeah, definitely. Definitely going to make another trip. All right. See you later. <laughs>